Hi everyone, I'm in Dubai. Good morning from beautiful Dubai. I am so excited to be here because I've heard so many things about this city and they're all amazing. I already know though, I have not given myself enough time in this city because it is huge. There's so much to do here. So I'm just going to be able to see a few things on this stop and then hopefully because Dubai is such a major hub in this region to fly through, I'm hoping that on another trip sometime in the future, I can stop here for a few more days and see some more things. So I'm starting off today with a trip to what I think Dubai, one of the things Dubai is best known for, and that is a trip to the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest skyscraper in the world. We're going up it. The Burj Khalifa finished construction in 2009, and it has 163 floors that are a mixture of apartments and businesses. I decided to do the sky at the top ticket, which gives you access to the 148th floor, and it was so beautiful and shiny. You're served tea, and then afterward, you can still visit the general admission floor as well. My next adventure in Dubai is a desert safari tour that includes cruising through the desert in a vintage 1950s Land Rover to see wildlife, followed by dinner and a musical performance at a desert camp. We've made it out to the desert. I was taught how to put on a shayla, I think is what this is called, which is meant for sun protection and wind protection. I can pull it up to cover my eyes. It is absolutely stunning out here. We're in a wildlife conservation area, so we're learning about the animals and the habitat and what they need. And the sun is setting and it's just absolutely incredible. Good morning from breakfast this morning. I am heading to Abu Dhabi, which is really exciting. I'm going to see the Sheikh Zayed Mosque, which is supposed to be absolutely stunning. The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque is the largest mosque in the United Arab Emirates, and it can hold over 40,000 worshipers, and the carpet inside of the main prayer hall is considered the largest carpet in the world. The mosque design represents cultural diversity of the Islamic world, and it combines both historical and modern aspects of architecture and art. For my visit, I was given a complimentary robe at the entrance that allowed me to cover to my wrists, ankles, and wear a hood, which adheres to the dress code for women, but you don't have to be in a robe as long long as those areas of your body are covered in looser clothing, you are permitted to enter. It's the next day and my final day here in Dubai. I'm actually all packed and getting ready to head to the airport. The mosque yesterday in Abu Dhabi was so stunning. Like it was so beautiful. If you are ever in this region, I highly, highly recommend going. However, I highly, highly do not recommend going in early October, which is what it is right now. It is so hot outside right now. And to be fair, I knew that this time of year was not the ideal time to come visit this region. They say that like December, January, February is the best because it cools off a little bit. But during my time here in the Middle East, I'm joining a group tour that had fixed dates for October. So this was the time that I was going to be over here. So it was either go or just miss it completely. And it's not very often that I am just just around this area. So I decided to just brave the heat and make some extra stops anyway. And speaking of braving the heat, I also went out and met a photographer out in the desert to do a photo shoot on the sand dunes. And I was going to film more of it, but it was like 106 degrees and there was blowing sand and it was like, the conditions were so intense. But a lot of you ask me how I get photos of myself while I'm traveling by myself. And a lot of the time I just use my camera and a tripod and a timer, but using a timer and tripod is really 
really hard to do if you're like in the city, you're in a crowd, you're at a busy landmark. I don't want to set up my camera and walk away from it. Or if I'm just somewhere like out in the desert or setting up a tripod in the sand, it's not an ideal situation for it. So I also really like to book local photographers when I'm traveling. It makes getting photos so much easier, but I also get to talk to somebody local and like ask what are good restaurants, what are good things to do. And I usually book local photographers through Flightographer, which is a site you can go on and search a city and look at the photographers there and then book a certain length of session with them. I first used Flightographer photographer I think last year when I went to Japan and I have booked literally like over a dozen sessions with them around the world as a regular customer like paying full price. I've always been really happy with my shoots through them and actually this summer I got in touch with them because they found out I'm such a big fan of the service and they gave me a promo code to give to you guys to get $50 off your first shoot with them. It's photo Allison 50. I will have it linked and listed down below. It's not a commission link. I don't make any money if you guys use it or don't use it. It's just a cool way for you guys to save some money on a shoot and get some cool travel photos. And I could not recommend them more. The photographer that I shot with here in Dubai's name is Akimi and she was amazing. The photos make me look so much more glamorous and less sweaty than I was. Okay, it's time for me to get going, get to the airport. I feel like my time in Dubai was very short. I knew it would be, but I've got to get moving on to the next place, which I will be sharing in an upcoming video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye.